Hello. I know where you're thinking. I'm here for the content. Now let me tell you. I'm gonna give you content. I'm gonna give you everything that you guys ask for. I've been gone in the past, like for three, four times, but I'm back. Better than ever. And there was a comment like two weeks ago that I didn't see because YouTube, or well, just my phone decides not to tell me about any messages that I receive or any comments that I get. However, I'm here addressing another problem. And this is not a YouTube problem. This is going to be a quad hip related related problem. What happened is that forever ago I did a video on uh, hip clunking, hip snapping, hip clicking, and there was a kind person that left a message saying, hey, so should, should I focus on strengthening or uh, stretching first? And I said, well, you should, you should focus on strengthening. Now, here's why. If you have any part of your body that is weak, you don't just want to stretch it because, well, it's weak, right? So let's say, for example, if I have this band and this band is weak, so let's say like it's thin like this and I want to stretch it yeah it's gonna probably tear instead of what we want to do is we want to make sure it's strong enough right like apes together strong so we're gonna be able to do the same thing and it's gonna be strong now it's not it might not be as flexible as before but because we're gonna be working on our whole body everything is just gonna feel good and it's going not it's gonna be able to uh, I don't know how to explain it, like it's just gonna be this part where you're gonna be able to reach your full range of motion without having any pain. Alright, for this exercise, you can have a water bottle, you can have your dog, your baby, whatever you want. The goal is to go over it. So you have your butt, your back, your head, everything against the wall. And here, you're just gonna go over it. Ooh, that's hard, you know, cheap a little bit hard by putting it away. And you start to cramp. Why? Because you're weak. Well, I'm weak. You guys may be able to do it. That's a great exercise for not only your quads, but your hips. Now, if we want to uh, focus on the psoas muscle that we were talking about before, anything that goes above 90, is gonna be psoas related. So, right now, if you sit down like this with your back straight against the wall, that's 90. That's why this exercise works perfectly, right? Because you're using that psoas muscle and you can also, uh, also feel it. If you grab your hands and you just shove it between your hip and stomach, try to lift, you should be able to feel oh, a muscle trying to pop out of it. You should have muscles working there. But that's a great exercise that you can do basically all the time that you want. As always, keep dancing, have a great workout, and I'll see you in the next video.